oh, that was, did I sound kind of tired on that one? I'm not tired. That was really weak. Woo-hoo! There we go. This is Genesis, and you're watching Inside Fetish. Uh, before I introduce my mystery guest, um, it's leather season. We're still in the middle of leather contests, and I want to uh, congratulate Master Orpheus and Slave Indigo on winning the Southern California Master Slave Contest this weekend. So I would give them a hand. And speaking of leather contests, there's a big one this weekend in, up in San Francisco, Inzel International Ms. Leather. Um, you're going to that, aren't you, Mel? Yep. I'm going to um, I'm going up to Emzo. It should be a lot of fun. It uh, is a lot of fun. I'm being kidnapped. Cool. By cool. Deb, so she's kidnapping me, taking me up there, and I'll be up there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You'll see a lot of sexy, hot women. A lot of them in uniform. I don't know who the contestants are this year. Emzo is usually something I go to every year, but uh, not the past couple of years. So interested in finding out who wins. So, anything to uh, report, Mel? Anything new for you? Yeah, we do. We have uh, we have a new staff writer. Oh, cool! And uh, it's Thisby. She's cool. written a story about her first experience in Polly, and she's getting great reviews on it. So now we have two staff writers. Right. We have Miss um, Cotty Thompson. And Don um, Thisby. So we're always looking for staff writers to you know, write articles, you know, so we can you know, educate the population on the positive aspects of BDSM. Very cool. That's very cool. So if you're watching and you would uh, like to join in the chat room, just join us. It's very easy. Just click on guests, right, Mel? And yeah. You can click from YouTube and. Yeah, and there, we've we've had a we've had a lot of people that have been watching it from their iPhone or their their pad, and they don't understand where the chat room is. Oh. They have to kind of scroll all the way down to get to right. the chat room if you're watching from your iPhone or or your 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 iPad or your Android, because you know it's not big enough to have the whole big full thing. And so scroll down, you'll find the chat room, and then if you're on your computer, you can pop out the chat room. Because it has a pop out, and Mr. Cyan is in the chat room. Oh, hey! And Sally B is in the chat room. So Hello, welcome, Sally. Welcome. Woo woo! Woo woo! All right, so it's that time. I uh, call her a mystery guest because I wasn't sure who was coming on. So uh, this person has like 16 different personalities, so I didn't know who was going to come on. But come on up mystery guest and you can introduce yourself to the public. <laughs> Give her a hand. Hello. Hello. So, uh, oh, it's Oh, you hi. got hugged. Oh, oh, hello. I love hugging. Are, are we on air? Yeah, we're on air. We're are, on. Are they watching you? Yes, oh, yes. We yes. couldn't do this thing. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's that, Harry Balls. Is, oh, yes. I Harry am Balls. Harry B-Balls. Harry B-Balls. What's the B stand for? Uh, being a pretty much female yourself, you wouldn't be familiar with blue balls. Oh, blue balls. Blue balls. Blue balls are not a, not a good thing. So I see you but write for the nice. London Times. I actually uh, work for the London Times, but I actually uh, I, I do a lot of work for the royalties over there, for the Queen. Oh, for the royalties. Uh, I do some of the sexual expose controls in the in the uh, country. Oh, okay. What does that entail, actually? Uh, counting use uh, uh, condoms, basically. <laughs> it's kind of a messy job, uh, but somebody's got to do it. Oh. So, uh, you that, mean... that takes up a lot of my time. So you're counting used? Counting the used ones and uh, disposing of them is another problem. <laughs> <laughs> the English channel is getting rid of Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's got some of that in there, too. Uh, but yes, um, it was a good trip over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I paddled my own canoe all the way over. It was. A oh, long you took trip. a canoe. I no, did. I had didn't. a sail though. Um, yeah. I constructed a sail out of the used condoms, and it worked really well. Oh, okay. Um, when the wind blew, it just bubbled right up, and uh, so eventually. So they not pay you well, so you oh, can fly. Very, oh, I I paid very well, but uh, it was a uh, it was an experimental thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, is anybody going for this 
BS or <laughs> I don't know. We should check in the chat room. Does anybody have any who, questions who for Harry in Balls? In the chat room. Uh, um, Harry Balls uh, counts condoms. We have, um, uh, we have Mr. Cyan's in the chat room and um, Sally B's in the chat room. And also, Mr. Cyan said that Miss, so Miss Ann is for Miss San Diego Leather is competing at EMSL. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And there are people that are watching. If you're watching the show, please come into the chat room and ask your burning questions yes, of Harry yes. Ball. Yes, yes. I, I heard Madonna was running for Ansel. Is that true? I don't think no. so. Oh, no. It's been a rumor. Must it's have been. It's pretty fly a lot. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do on this show generally? You report all the nasty, sexy, fetish stuff. To the world? No, well, I mean, we have discussions about what turns people on and different fetishes. So, uh, yeah. What turn you on? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I don't really know. You don't want to know? know? Okay, know. so. I've heard uh, stories, but. Um, so, uh, what's what's your fetish? What What is it that you like to oh, do? Do you. Do you not have one, or do you report on people? No, the list is so long, I couldn't even get into it. We'd be here for hours. Oh, okay. Um, I, I do happen to know Mr. Cyan. Oh, how'd um, you meet her? Actually, she was paddling the other way in the Atlantic oh, Ocean. Oh, she was. She was going she over was. to England to visit the Queen. Oh, uh, she had, I didn't know she knew the Queen. She was the Queen crowned her. Um, oh, she did? Didn't knight her, because that doesn't work. But oh. You know, she, yeah, and... Uh, Cyan actually swam back. He's that athletic. Really? I yeah. didn't think Cyan liked the water. She she doesn't like over... boats. Oh, she, she doesn't, doesn't like... like the boat part. That's what it is. The water's oh. okay. Once she falls out of the boat to the water, she's all right. Oh. She doesn't like that, that part. That before part. That We're often... selling secrets out of... Uh, the yeah, so when did you first meet Cyan? Did I miss first meet her? I first met her in 1872. <laughs> oh. Uh, it was right after the uh, Civil War. Oh, okay. Uh, it was in Philadelphia at a play party. There was a play party. Oh, okay. It was. One of the first uh, going on, George Washington was there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Are you getting this now? George Washington? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that yeah. incredible? I love the stories. Keep it up. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Civil War. Civil War. Philadelphia. Right after the play Civil party. War, when Washington was president, right. he was having these parties. And that was when it was the capital of the United States. I didn't know the Civil War was during George Washington's time. Was it BDSM parties? Yeah, apparently. Yes, it was. It was Whose house was party. it at? Well, so, I was I met her, and she introduced me to some, Mr. Cyan introduced me to some really sick fetishes. Was, sure was George Washington a submissive or a <laughs> dominant? <laughs> I was submissive and she was dominant. But who uh, was George Washington? George Washington was a switch. Oh, I knew you were going to say George Washington was a switch. What kind of stuff did he like to do? He liked to get, uh, he liked, uh, what do you call the, the switch, isn't it, the, the, the tree limbs? Oh, yeah, switch. Yeah, he well, he got one off the cherry tree that he chopped down. Oh, okay. It, that was his favorite, was the cherry tree switches. Oh, got uh, it. left red marks that weren't real. Oh. With the red cherries. Oh, got it, got it. Um, so, so, okay, so go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> this is really interesting. This is a lovely studio. This is about 25,000 square feet here. And all yeah. These people. I, yeah. I people yeah, there's a lot of people questions. in the studio. Woohoo. They're I'm, really. I'm impressed. They're really quiet. Uh, I haven't been there's back to the studio. a couple of furry ones here. I haven't been back to the studio. <laughs> the last time was, what, uh, 32 years ago? Oh, 32 years. It's been quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've changed a lot. So, so you and Cyan met during the Civil oh, War. Oh, right. actually, you guys we, are that old, huh? Actually, to tell the truth, I, I met Mr. Cyan in 1995. Oh, okay. At okay. my first fetish party. Yeah. So what you do uh, there? The magic happened then, and I've been uh, connected with her. Right. Um, some doubt that I'm submissive, but it's true. <laughs> um, and, it is uh, true. I've had it is true. The uh, the first scene I had uh, encountered with Mr. Cyan was my first because I came from the East Coast. Right. And there was nothing. Right. And that was my introduction to it. And the magic happened. Uh, the misconception in the fetish world is that in society, I see, they, they try to get that magic connection. They think it's just what it's not. 
Mm -hmm. And Cyan possesses that magic when she does scenes, as you know, mm -hmm. with everybody. She has that connection. And right. I see people standing and watching her in awe. Right. And try to get it. Uh, and different people do it differently. Um, right, right. People think it's a show, and it's, it can't be a show. But mm -hmm. The realism is the magic, and it's, it's sensual, it's amazing. As uh, all these people are shaking their heads out here, they know. Right, right. Woo! Any questions in there? Uh, no, we don't have any questions, but Entropy has entered the chat hey, room. Hey, Entropy. Entropy. Yeah. Ah, the energy guy. It's the energy in and out. I took that in college, but I never understood it. But uh, <laughs> I talked to him about the name, and it, I still don't understand it. But hi, Entropy. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to see you. It's always good to see you, I Entropy. miss you. You haven't been... Uh, I haven't seen you in the palace with the queen lately, uh, <laughs> but I'll keep looking. Um, you, you, you should stop down and visit my summer place in uh, Coxalot. So I'm on the south side Coxalot? of uh, Coxalot. Coxalot. It's Coxalot. down next to the White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, Coxalot. Uh, oh, yes. Do we have a question? Entropy says, I'm remarkably lifelike. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, That's I, awesome. I am the same, but appearances are, are um, um, what's the word, um, deceptive. How did I'm you get your name? Like. How'd you get your name? Yeah, how'd you get your name, Harry Balls? And what does it say here on your hat? <laughs> London Times Press Pass, Harry B. Balls. Okay, so, yeah, how'd it, you get it, your name? It's my lineage. Liturgy. Liturgy. Your liturgy? Whatever it is. It, it's a royal background. The queen gave me this herself. Uh, she was doing the uh, biannual ball inspection in the <laughs> The ball and, inspection. Right, everyone, all the males need to have their balls inspected by the queen blessed. And she was so impressed with the hair that I had <laughs> on the balls, uh, she decided to... Uh, Clean all that off with a razor and got down to where the balls were like, you know, the size of a penny. So she was so impressed with it, she gave me a royal name. <laughs> and she we have a go. phone call. We take phone calls? <laughs> so, uh, so Harry B. Balls. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and yes. the B uh, came from the, the, the blue. You Who heard calls? about the blue lagoon, blue, 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 the blue lagoon, the, the blue movie lagoon. with Heather yeah. Blackmere, or who is she like? Uh, Brooke Shields. Brooke, that's Brooke Shields. Are you close? Well, I, I spent three years there with her in the lagoon before they found us. Oh. And, uh, oh. The blue balls were a big thing then. Uh, uh, she was a virgin. <laughs> it was just no way. <laughs> oh, no. Are you no. blushing? No. <laughs> Wow, wow. And the balls, so, the, the balls, the last name, it's, it's got family history. Oh, there is? Yeah. There is? Ray says hello, one of our one of our val valid, valid board guys. Oh, very oh, cool. Oh, hi, Ray. Hi. Hello. 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 You're not supposed to call in the middle of the show, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> he says thank you for calling me. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Call back every five minutes, Ray. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, funny. Okay. Okay. Bye, Ray. Love you. Bye, Ray. <laughs> Bye. That's awesome. So, okay. So we established your name now. So, uh, what is uh, some of the things that you like to do? Do you just kind of like to go to the parties and watch, or is there like a, a deep dark? fantasy. A deep dark fantasy. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, well, after you've counted all the used condoms in England, there's not much left that you can really say is enjoyable. Right, um, right. Mm -hmm. Other than the other guy that has to clean them up and repackage them. That's really oh, so they're, so they're recycled. Yeah, they, in, they in recycle England, condoms. Yes, in England, they do. They uh, do. They're very oh. safety conscious. They're safety conscious. Yes, they fill them up with medicide and let them set for overnight, and then they, um, they have a shrinking process. Um, <laughs> wow! Wow! It's wow. A, I don't. Uh, how come we're talking about 
penis is here, I was. Well, you brought it up. You brought, you uh, said the queen gave you the cleaning up condoms job. Yes. Now, um, was that out of a punishment? No, no, or that was, that's no, a reward. No, that was a, that's a reward. It comes it's with a, a title. It comes with a title. The royal, so, the royal title. You have to. Uh, it's it's a blessing thing. So you're you're Sir Condom? No, 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 no. I'm just Harry B. Balls. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. No, I'm not a sir. Uh, I'm I'm nobility. Mm -hmm. I can. Uh, I can see that. Should I get married, my children are eligible to be queen. Oh. Um, They're just going to skip you and go. Oh no, not that kind of a queen. I'm oh. talking about drag. Oh, queens. drag queens. Drag queens. Oh, okay. That, so, that's, so there's a lot of that in the royalty. People don't understand. So I understand you have a sister. Is uh, do you have a sister named Margaret? That's a I do have sister. a sister named Margaret. I have several sisters. Uh, I spend a lot of time in a convent. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Serving the world. Um, she serves the world. Yes. Uh, it's a big job. It is. But and you travel by canoe. Um, well, I lost my canoe when. Oh. Uh, well, that's a long story. You wouldn't believe it anyway. <laughs> Come on. Tell us about the Lost Canoe. Lost Canoe is somewhere in the Potomac River. Uh, when I was in the uh, U.S. service, mm -hmm. the Army, right? I would belong to a whitewater canoe club. Okay. And uh, as far as I know, my canoe is still wrapped around a rock at Harper's Ferry Rapids. Uh, oh, how'd you escape? I just popped out, floated down stream and got out. It's a, it's a very safe. I was wearing all the safety equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had uh, I had a life jacket filled with used condoms. Which oh, they use condoms well. again. Oh, yes. so they do. They're buoyant. They are. They are. Have wow. you ever noticed in the ponds around LA uh, where people throw money in? If you really look close, you can find some floating around. I wouldn't recommend touching them or right, right, right. right uh, I wouldn't recommend buying any from the UK. If do, they, uh, the UK is a sick place. I yeah, think. it, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So, but you're there most of the time. No, I'm back and forth. I'm all okay. Over. How I'm, sick is it? <laughs> Inside joke. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wow, so uh, you've had a lot happen. You've, oh, I've, I've had a blessed life. Uh, yeah, that sounds it. like it. So would you say cleaning condoms is at the pinnacle of your... No, uh, I don't have to do that. That's the other guy's Oh, that's the I, other I guy's now? I don't have now? to clean them. I just have to count them. You just have to count them. Oh, come so on a conveyor belt and they're kind and of oozy. Count and, you know, and they're I, oozy. <laughs> I have a long pencil I can flip them around and try to touch them. And you, and you count them. Yeah, wow. And i got a counter, a hand counter. Very cool. Very cool. So, uh, uh, do we have uh, do we have guests from all over the world this evening? Yes. Yes. Do yes. we on the on the uh, chat yes, line? Yes. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are watching it that are not into the chat room because chicken. I because they're able to do this on their cell phone yeah, and they're, they're chicken they're, shit. That's why. Yeah, they're chicken <laughs> shit. Chicken <laughs> shit. Don't have the balls to call in, do you? But we have we've had over. Um, we'll Ray call then. Yeah, we've had over uh, twenty thousand people since we relaunched. Yeah, you know, join yeah, and watch the shows, which is awesome. What are you playing playing in your pants with your hands in your pants for? Yeah, you got your hands in your pants. They can see that. I was checking my. <laughs> Bluetooth. Oh, you waiting for a call? I was waiting for Ray to call. Oh, <laughs> give him your number. I'm sure he'll give you a call. Oh boy, so. I don't play in my pants. You don't play in your I'm pants. A, I'm a professional. <laughs> so I have a question. Okay. I would love to. I would love Say to. Say this, please. Yeah, I. You know, I would love to, uh, Harry. Harry. I yes. would love to ask you. Uh, so. Since you've been around for a long time, what other famous people, persuasions and BDSM, you know, like yes, different presidents yes. and different world leaders, can you kind of name off what if they were submissives or dominance or you know switches, drag switches or poly and drag? Well, there, yeah, was, poly. there was uh, um, what the hell's his name? The guy that was in the FBI. Um, uh, Her Herbert Hoover. No. Was it Herbert Hoover was the president. Oh, which one? The Hoover guys. It wasn't no, no. it? Wasn't there a Hoover that was head of the FBI at one point? 
Yeah, James, they always called him Hoover. James Rowan? No. No, no, no. Mr. Cy Mr. Cyan wants to know, is it Harry or ha ha Harry or Harry? She spells it Harry. It's spelled H A I R Y E E Y. Um, you have it H A R H A I R Y. For the Queen gave me this plaque. I didn't do this. She spelled it wrong. <laughs> the Queen black. is a terrible point. Uh, Seller. Oh, the Queen's terrible. Okay, so it's it's H E R R Y. See, you can't even keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've lost control. If you had Harry Balls yourself, you would understand. I, and you would be able to handle it a lot better. Wow, wow. So, uh, so, so, uh, it was this guy in the FBI, and what was he oh, into? Uh, ask Mr. Cyan who that is, because she knows everything. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure there was a guy um, named Hoover. That yeah, was but a, Hoover was the president. And yeah. uh, the, the news announcer pronounced his name wrong. He said, J. Edgar Hoover. Yes, J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, J. Yeah, yeah was Hoover. He yeah. threw some hell of a great queen parties. Oh, yeah, was, nice, yeah, some nice right. soirees. Wow. Uh, well, in the White House. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, so was there some secret rooms in the White House that were made up to look like dungeons? Uh, no, just a lot of closets where the president stayed until they got office. And after they lost their term, then they came out of the closet. <laughs> They had more credibility. Okay. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Hoover used to wear dresses. Yeah. Who? Hoover used to wear dresses, so there was the. Well, guy. so did I, but that's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I mean, what's this thing about wearing a dress? Anybody can wear a dress. <laughs> well, it's just kind of risque, especially when you where, don't. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> I live here in Los Angeles. Have you been out in? The streets of L.A.? Oh, well, I've seen that. But I mean, we're talking back in the 30s or 20s when, you know. Oh, we they, had to know where to go. But, you know, it's kind of shocking that this big, important man wore dresses. So what about um, Truman? Did you know Truman Capote? Did you hang out with him? No, but I saw the movie. Oh, you saw that movie? <laughs> So you don't have any... No, Truman, uh, Capote, no. Uh, Harry Truman? Yeah, what about uh, Harry Truman? He was, uh, he was a jackass from Missouri. <laughs> uh, we, we have a question in the oh, chat good. room. Oh, thank God. Uh, Mr. Cyan is asking, what's Harry's favorite fetish? Yeah, what's Harry's? Favorite fetish? Yeah, what's your favorite fetish? Um, is it hair? <laughs> it, well, I could go a thousand ways on this. I could... Look out for my own ass and say that it was working and knowing Mr. Cyan. That's not a fetish. That's really sweet, though. It is really sweet, especially for me. And yeah, she, yeah. That's going to confuse the hell out of her. <laughs> she never sees that side of me. Uh, I started out with bondage. That was uh -huh. my limit. And over the years with Mr. Cyan, I have gone through bondage. Single tailing. Single tail, flagging. Uh, Little knife play. Knife play is yes. good. Uh, took me 14 years to convince her I couldn't handle electrical play. She, she does a little. Finally got that. She does I a think. little with you. She's done a little. No, 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 not electrical. No. <laughs> electrical, no. And she okay. did. She did fire play on me. Yeah. Our last scene, and that didn't work well either. But everything else, she has really pushed my limits and expanded my enjoyment and my fetish play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Harry, I can go get some electrical stuff that we could play with you. And, <laughs> and I saw I saw where you hid the door behind the magic black wall here. I'll, be flash. I'll go out on Cruise Street. <laughs> Didn't Ray be calling about this time? So, so those are your you you like bondage, and you used to well, shoot I, a lot of bondage. I, I did uh, had yeah. the pleasure of shooting almost every. And you see a lot of cheesy poofs too. I saw a lot of. Uh, what was fun was uh, the outtakes. Yeah. After. Yeah. We shot a uh, spanking video with a submissive called Joe Fetish. Oh, that, yeah. Joe was over in the corner, and we would shoot a half hour, an hour video, and we would, Mr. Sain would direct it with a whiteboard, 
and I would run the camera and <clears throat> and eat your Cheetos. No, we never ate during it. Yeah, yeah, you did. You, well, you ate only your when we were shooting you. <laughs> oh, was it just when you were shooting me? Ah, okay. Anyway, it was a spanking video, and uh -huh. we would throw props in for the model. Uh huh. And he's on his hands and knees, and we threw in a rubber dildo size of a baseball bat. <laughs> And she picked it up and she walked past Joe who looked at it and said to her, you know, it's against the law to fuck with a big dick. <laughs> and that cracked us up. That cracked Cyan up, laughing, cracked up the model. She got behind him and whacked him in the ass with it. <laughs> and I'm looking through the camera and the model is just cracking up with her face towards the wall. And <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, I set the camera on just what it's doing and I got up and I... Walk down the hall and I'm laughing in the curtain and Cyan's falling apart. <laughs> we got it all done and it came out okay. And the model came over to Cyan and I said, thanks a lot. You two were a big support. Thing. <laughs> I look over, I'm cracking up. The there were a lot of those. That... Oh, remember uh, uh, da, 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 the wrestling one when, oh, what's her name? <laughs> and had Mark and someone else and she was just beating the shit out of them. Well... Who was that? I forgot uh, her name. Mistress Melissa. No, not that one. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Uh, the one where you're cracking up. You yeah. Know, the, <laughs> I just forgot her name. Uh, she's a porn star. Yes. And she had her own business and she modeled for us because she, yeah, she liked it. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. And she was a wrestling. She was great at serious wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. yeah. She had two of two of the oh, models. was her, her name? I forgot her name all of a sudden. I don't know. She's, oh. a, she's Italian, but the funniest part was the one model, <laughs> we were testing a camera, so we're standing in the hall, and this model, male model is butt naked, Diane's going, well, why don't you try doing a little on, on uh, this model, with which I've got the camera out, and she reaches out of the room and grabs him and pulls him through the door and throws him on the floor <laughs> and just starts to beat the crap out of him, and he couldn't move. Maybe Cyan will write we were, in who it is because we, we forget. Well, I, I know who it was, but we're not going to mention oh, his you don't, name. Oh, you no. Know. Or no, no, her name, the oh, models. Name. The models. Cassandra? No, I don't remember. I can't remember. But um, she was very cool. Pay no attention to the person crawling around on the floor. It's nothing to do with the show. Um, oh, she's letting somebody in the door. We have a, a, more of the crowd coming. <laughs> so, uh, what else is it that uh, you guys have done? Probably over a thousand videos. Probably thousands yeah, I, and thousands yeah, I, of different um, videos. We sat down and counted one time, and then it was a huge amount. We were supplying. Um, well, you're really good at counting because you count condoms, so yeah. I imagine well, I the videos to, were a little bit had it easier. In my pocket. Well, it was a little less messy. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we were supplying 25 websites per mm -hmm. month in Europe. Wow. And it, uh, and the difficult part was we were in 1,200 square foot dungeon at that time. We had three rooms, and we had to change the background each time. Wow. And. Uh, Hi. Oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> I just walked in off the street. Hey. <laughs> I just Hello. Are we oh, yeah, on television? Yeah. yeah. You're on, you're on, oh, you're on all right. Yeah. Oh, well, wait. I have to change my clothes then. <laughs> you got to sign the model release. You never know what's going to go with Harry Balls on the. <laughs> I've lost complete control of my show. If you want to go over here, you got to crawl on my guest. To call on the floor. Wait a second. <laughs> no. So yeah, what's some of your other fun movies that you did? Were you ever in any of these movies? I was. Yeah. What did? Oh, tell us about the one you were in. You were quite I, I, a success. Uh, well. Quite a success. Yes, actually, I was. I'm still in video stores. As a yes. Kid. Yes, you are. People recognize you from all over. I so what a, was this video that you did? I did a uh, uh, three three trannies in a house was the name of it. <laughs> it was shot up in this area in a yes. house. Yes. The third tranny didn't show up. The model he hired. Right. I had brought my clothes just in case, and uh, they decided they could use me as one of the trannies. 
the second train was a Cinderella story. Right, right. Mr. Cyan and I were in this thing, and we were being, uh, what's the right word, retribution. We were oh, punishing he, her for everything she did wrong. Right, so she and had to pay retribution. The other, the other um, transsexual uh, was a big girl. Oh, yeah. She came in, I'm sitting in the chair. How and big was she? Seen. She was like six foot, close to 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. She walked in with the room and we we uh, hammed it up with back and forth on uh, something about the broom. And I said, you could, you know, where you can do that broom, you can stick it up your ass. And it went mm -hmm. from there. We ended up on the couch with me spanking her. And uh, she's making verbal cracks. I'm cracking up, she's cracking up. Anyway, the whole thing ended up. So what they made the movie? There was supposed to be three trans, three T's in a house. It was supposed to be. Ooh, so what they end up calling it? Uh, a year later, I was on the street. Some guy come running up and he goes, "Oh, excited in Espanol," and I asked the guy next door, "He says, you 'You're a TV star. You're you're Granny Tranny.'" <laughs> Granny Tranny was the name of the that, movie. They changed it. They That's, sold it. They sold it to a company in New York, and they changed it. They, they probably it could sell out. more copies, and that's why you're such a big success. Yeah, but I wanted to cover. I didn't want to be in the cover. Granny Tranny. Granny Tranny. Woo! Now that I told that story, she's going to hang on to that for the rest of her life. <laughs> You, you were, were on the cover. You so were on the cover. Can I can I can I get movie. that can I go buy that film? Yeah. Can I go buy that film, Granny Tranny? She wants to buy it. She wants to buy it. Well it's very valuable. <laughs> Granny Tranny, I love that name. Isn't Granny that awesome? Tranny. It's awesome. That's my claim to fame other yeah. than all yeah. the other national publications I've been in. <laughs> the other national publications, wow. And so. movies. And the movies, yes, you've done quite a lot of movies, weren't you on a you and Cy Young used to do a lot of extra work, so. I was on, uh, Star Cyan Trek? and I, we were on Felicity. Felicity, I Felicity, remember Felicity, and it was a uh, L.A. Uh, scene. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted Dominus with latex and leather. Mm -hmm. Cy Young had all the equipment, so and so we were done. They showed up, showed them, they got their, they're wearing their rubber, their latex, perfect, wrote air and weight. I said to them, I... Basically, yep. just cold called the set. Do you need anybody else? Right. Well, yeah, yeah, we do actually. So they take me over to costume. I had three different changes of clothes. I lay oh. them out on a trailer, and the wardrobe girl goes, "No, no. If you're willing to let us do the costumes, we've got a spot for you." I said, "Okay. This is a fetish scene in a fetish club." Right. So <clears throat> she comes out with a big bouffant tutu. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. Put that yeah. on. I put some goofy looking stockings on. I got uh, Barbie doll earrings, mm -hmm. um, plastic, and I had very fierce. It's a screwy top on me and a big Afro blonde wig. Oh. And then they do this makeup, and she gave me some goofy. And I walked over to where the pro doms were. Mm -hmm. And I said to Mr. Cyan, you thought you called this right with a costume. This is what they wanted for fetish. <laughs> Come to find out what they wanted me was for the camera. They put me in the middle of the scene, had me walk by for a focus. I never really showed up on the show. <laughs> but they paid, they paid me a hundred bucks. So I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Entropy in the chat room says, I'm seeing a movie night in the future. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, there's a few more. Tranny Grandma! In your, in your dreams, Sir Anthropy. In your dreams. So, what, you guys were in a rock star film? We were, and, and I. Uh, <laughs> they booted me out the second day because I was sitting really? in the audience. And I got blonde hair. Well, they hair. know star quality when they no, see it. No, I got like blonde hair. They were like, oh, she's too much of a my star. My blonde hair was very prevalent, and I thought they were putting me on it. didn't like me until um. I saw the movie. Well, probably because you looked better than Jennifer no, Aniston. No, no, no. They probably. left me in. They left me in the pan shot on the first part on the stage shot, and as the camera panned over, there was my blonde head right there, just blaring out of the crowd. <laughs> so they were actually truthful what they were saying. Yeah, yeah. But that was. That Did was they still pay you? Well, they paid me. They, they always pay you for the time you're there. Yeah, yeah. Once you leave, they'll pay you. 
Oh, well, that's you yeah, don't get any drawback. royalties. That's you should the drawback. Try. No, you don't get right. No, non-union members uh, oh, uh, oh. don't get royalties, and they get bare minimum. Yeah, yeah. Unless you get gold in time. Yeah, yeah. It's, At ten hours, you get time and a half. You get minimum wage. Ten hours, time and a half. Twelve hours, you get double time. Oh. On set. Yeah. No, on is it a minimum time. wage or yeah, they minimum have wage? Minimum wage. Wow. <clears throat> it was six seventy-five. I, didn't they just raise the minimum wage at yeah. Denmark now? I think so, something like that. Wow. I don't work. I'm retired, so I don't really You that. work? You no, work I at did the Sanctuary once. Studios. Uh, well, I'm You there. manage the facility. You're an owner. Yeah, but I don't do anything. That's your other personality. <laughs> you don't do anything. Okay. All right. So, uh, so you've lived a big life. You... We're in the Civil War. I'm not War. done yet. You're talking yeah. like it's all gone. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm trying to recap what we here. talked got, about. I'm looking ahead for a little bit here. <laughs> oh, okay. So what? Else, what's in your future? Oh, my bucket list? <laughs> yeah, what's your bucket list? A 50-foot yacht in Long Beach Harbor. You going to have a dungeon in it? No. No dungeon? No. no. If I want to go on a dungeon, I'll go to Seattle, Washington. What, oh, really? What's in Seattle, Washington? Uh, what's his name? Sir Dale. He had yes. that Navy battleship he bought in a oh. dungeon. He just worked oh, through Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he does like all the electrical a, stuff. You don't like that. I don't know how many foot destroyer or wow. some kind of Navy vessel, and he's changed it into a dungeon inside, and he gives he gives cruises. He'll take people out for two weeks. Yeah, I heard about dungeon. that. Yeah, you hang out at Sanctuary, though, a little bit. Huh? <laughs> Said you hang out at Sanctuary a little bit, don't you play? Have you seen me there? I have seen you there. Have you seen me doing anything? Yeah, I see you work on equipment. I see you work on the sound system. Harry. Yes. You have to wear the yellow tutu. I gotta see you and in the, the yellow wig. tutu. Well, I'll go back in the archives and pull up Felicity. I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually have to do it live. Go on True TV or, or <laughs> Me TV or whatever that is. <laughs> So, so what what are we seeing in your future? What, any plans? Yeah, I'd like to get really rich and retire. <laughs> <laughs> so far, that hasn't worked out real quickly. No, no. But not we're getting either. closer. Yeah, um, yeah. I have seen you at Sanctuary, I believe. Yeah, well, I've been off for like a month and a half with, uh, you know, various ailments. That you know, I thought it was longer than that. It, well, it could be. <laughs> it could be. I thought we were talking years. <laughs> no, no, not years. Well, we've been open three years, so you must have been there once or twice in that time. Yeah, once or twice. No, I must say and tell you people, this is a real um, person. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. a real person. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, foundation. One of the foundations of sanctuary is right here. Thank you. Um, Although I think you are, you're the one it, that's putting the most hours even well, actually, before we open. Actually, what I'm, I'm referring to is the tomb in the back of the office that we had constructed for all the owners. <laughs> we asked with this fabulous tombstone. It's, it's a real. Um, we'll she be, hasn't seen it yet. Oh, we we have a tomb now. Oh, okay. We do, well, we that's because I've been uh, gone for it. so long. Well, that's right. It's an inner sanctum. Oh, oh, that's in cool. Sanctuary. Very cool. Do we have a question? Yes, we have a chat question. Um, Sally B wants to know, Harry, how long have you been into BDSM? Yes, yes. I well, <laughs> since the 1800s, apparently. Truthfully, without embellishing and giving you a lot of BS, <clears throat> I have actually been into BDSM since about age seven. I grew up in the East Coast on a farm where there was nothing, and I knew nothing. I had no information. When I came out to California uh, and uh, met Mr. Cyan. That was my first real exposure to playing, and that's been since 95. We've been together ever since. But I had the desires. I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't have the classes that we have out here now and the education and, and programs like this even. When I came out, I was a professional race car driver for many years, and I That's traveled right. the U.S. circuit. I came out here in 1972 and encountered Janice, which was one of the early clubs. But oh, you, really? Uh, 
you had to get an interview, and they were very much in a closet and very protective and very old guard in their procedures. Uh, I called about it, and the, the soonest interview they had for me was like four weeks away. And uh, at that time, in the 70s with Janice, you had to be interviewed and uh, background check type thing. And yeah, you weren't allowed before to. Before internet and everything. Yeah, yeah. But you weren't allowed to. You could go to an event uh, at that point, but uh, you had to go to attend like four four events before you were allowed to play at all. Oh, and then wow. you were very heavily supervised. It was very tight controlled. It was a good system. Mm -hmm. The internet kind of blew that away. Um, but uh, I've been virtually in it all my life. I've had those desires. Where they come from, I don't know. I gave up looking. Um, so you didn't play on the farm a little bit? I was. Uh, I'm transsexual. I, I'm a post-op transsexual, and I've had my surgery. Uh, I knew that was inside me from age seven, but I never told anybody. 1947, there wasn't any information. Never told anybody until I was like 20, 28 years old. And uh, when I was in the Army, I went to an adult bookstore and found the word transvestite at 22 years old. Had never seen it. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, there's other people in the world. Then I got educated from there on, but I didn't have, if I'd been on the West Coast, I probably would have made the move on transsexualism and the surgery in my teens, late teens, but even then they weren't doing it. They're, they've advanced so much now. Children's Hospital in LA is working with youth now. Yeah. They've changed yeah. their policy as far as uh, prior to a few years ago, the uh, liabilities in that were to, you didn't touch anybody, hormones, therapy, nothing until they were 18. And they've changed that outlook, and they're doing a lot of good time. They've got good programs at the Children's Hospital and many of the other locations around the world. Very cool. So it's progressing slowly. But when I started... Yeah. So was, th does your play, and when you were having fantasies, did it involve you being women, female? Uh, I felt during that time in my life, Inside, I was always a woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it was any, any, uh, it wasn't, my fetish at that time all my life wasn't aimed at males. Mm -hmm. uh, a male fetish body doing anything was not a turn on, but any female bondage photos or stories mm -hmm. was an automatic fetish turn on for me. Right. And right. Uh, I was married 28 years. I had sex three times, twice. Mm -hmm. I had two kids. Children. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife wasn't uh, any good with it, couldn't handle it. <clears throat> um, yeah, where I was going with with bondage, she, your wife wasn't into that. Oh, when I when I did have uh, under occasions that we had intercourse, uh, in my mind inside I was on the female side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was the female doing it, and I had to put my I had to really make an effort to put myself in the male position mm -hmm. and and use that as a turn-on because it was just all inside and mm -hmm. figuring it all out never did I accepted it I resolved it had surgery I'm happy the sexual aspect of it as far as uh, when I disclosed to people that I'm a uh, transsexual have had my surgery the usually the question is do you like men or women mm -hmm. and it's really not in my case uh, you don't like anybody, really. I don't like anybody anyway. <laughs> so it's not difficult. And, and my personality is such that people just love me. Uh, you'll, you'll hear speak on, people speaking of me at the uh, sanctuary with high praise. And uh, it's, it amazes even me. Why are you laughing? <clears throat> no, you could, you could die drinking. What do you say you're drinking? It's lemonade. It's like lemonade, but I don't think it's. It's, it's, it's lemonade. It's oh, we lemonade have a question. Um, <laughs> we have um, Sergio Master DJ is in the oh. chat room, and we have a lot of people that are watching it. If you're Very watching cool. the show, please Very come cool. to tsrnetwork.com. Go into Watch Live Shows and click on the chat room and come in and start chatting with us. Anybody, and please give us some, some questions in the chat yes. room so we can get it out to Harry it's Balls. a lot of history here. Yeah. I yeah. I know Sergio. So, Harry... Yes. You said you were in the military. Yes. 
So how did you handle the fact that you felt that you were a woman in the military? Did you have to hide that, or did, were you? Oh, definitely. I uh, um, I took a risk shaving my legs. I lived in a barracks with uh, eight other people in a room with a communal shower. Uh, that always terrified me. I I you know avoided going in there any types of shower in the middle of the night. Uh, but um, I. Didn't have a lot of opportunity then. I would uh, go away for a weekend and get a motel and dress and, and uh, play around just with myself because I had no place to go. Um, I really didn't uh, connect with anything until after I got out of the Army and I was an engineer in, in an aerospace test lab with Apollo 13 and such. But in my mid-40s, mid-30s, I met a transsexual in Buffalo, New York, who was a post-op transsexual, and she was into BDSM. And I used to go there, unbeknownst to my wife, on business, on a, on a weekend or whatever. I used to go to races at Watkins Glen, and I wasn't at Watkins Glen at the races. Uh, I would stay at her place for a weekend. We'd play, and I ran across a young man in uh, Buffalo, New York, who is a he had lost his left leg below his knee and his right. Mm -hmm. arm and he was into uh, the fetish scene. He was Canadian. He had been flying a kite at, at 19 years old and he had high tension wire and the electricity just burned him so badly. Oh wow. But he used to go out dressed as female and we became friends. As far as I know he's still there. But it wasn't until I really came out here in 95 that I was able to research and do things. Uh, I went to a place over on Ventura Boulevard called Lydia's, which is a cross-dressing store, and they had a full salon and everything at lockers where you could stay, and they used to go out on Friday nights with the cross-dressers for dinner, and we'd go as a group. Oh, and that sure. was my introduction to them, and they have since passed on from the, the business, but that was where I really got to start and really felt, and I can tell you, one of my secrets that I didn't really tell anybody, uh, when I had my surgery, uh, I had my surgery in Montreal, Quebec, and uh, after I had my surgery, which was a two-hour surgery, um, standing in front of a mirror. It was only two hours? Two-hour surgery. He had done 3,000 of them before he got to me. He was very good. And it had no difficulty, but I thought I had crossed over all the hurdles, all the requirements, all the psych the physical, the hormonal, everything, and I had, and I, here I am at the top of the mountain, and I am who I wanted to be, or needed to be all my life, but uh, it was an awakening, it was an epiphany for me, because I wasn't where I felt I was, I was content, I was happy, mm -hmm. but it was like, oh wow, holy shit, I made it, and mm -hmm. I, all those years I never thought I'd make it, but then it seemed like it would be downhill from there and it was just the beginning of the challenges being who I was coming down but I managed to survive it all but, and I talked to several other transsexuals there were 19 surgeries a week I was at the, the doctors mm -hmm. and the recovery place and they all it was male to female female to male they all had the same experience um, for what it's worth mm -hmm. but, you do this every week, huh? You make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I do this for money. It's more, you know, gratifying to, you know. Just... Yeah, but she told me. She told me you were, she was paying you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've had someone come into the chat room. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley Rains is in oh, the chat hey, room. Ashley, Ashley Rains. Wow. And for the people, there are so many people that are watching it that are not in the chat room. Please Very come cool. into the chat room. Harry, I want to tell you something. It is amazing to hear your story mm -hmm. because, you know, we have never really sat down and talked about this. Well, she has different versions. No, yes, I can I can <laughs> that you don't like. So does Ashley have any questions, or is she just gonna watch so she, she can she, ridicule me later? She's a chicken shit. She's not gonna talk. <laughs> she wants to know who's gonna be on Cassie's show. So oh. yeah. So it's it's um, Sinead Re um, Rose. So she's going to be on, and she's a performance artist, and that's oh, going to be pretty cool. interesting. Oh, yeah, so cool. I'm really excited. So Ashley's plugging somebody else's show. Thanks, Ashley. 
<laughs> you come on, you come on Genesis show, you plug Genesis show. <laughs> Yeah, my guest here has like what rained a couple of people's right. Why, why don't, calling yeah, in why don't you call in the they call in the landline uh, actually <laughs> and disturb your show a couple times? <laughs> Try to do some damage. She doesn't have my phone number. Maybe I should give it to her. <laughs> that would be hysterical. I, I wouldn't do that. She's got mine. It's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> why do you have it? Do you have it on vibrate? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Oh, do, Ashley says I'm only here for Carol. It's not. Nice, oh, she's only here for Carol. Yeah, she's only here for Carol. What about Genesis? Yeah. Ashley, your, your best friend. Yeah. Hello, me. Hello. Hello. Uh, wait a minute, best friend. What day is today? Yeah. <laughs> Today's a this Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah does that? I don't think this is one of those days, is it? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a short list. It's a short list. And it day. changes. It does. It does. It does change. I know where you live, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. She lives next to a fire company, too. Oh, she does? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. I, I think there's noticed. a firehouse right next to her house. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Or maybe that was the neighbor's having stuff. Another I question? Yeah, this is from me. Um, oh. You know... Carol, I see you at the at the san at sanctuary all the time, and I've I know what sanctuary was like when you guys first came in mm -hmm. with with the fire and everything else. Oh, yeah. And I have to tell you, last Saturday, you guys blew me out of the water. It's been a while since I've been to sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't believe how absolutely beautiful, awesome. I mean, it looks amazing. And I know a lot of that has to do with Carol. Yes, and Carol's it does. craftsmanship. It does. In yeah. fact, I remember when we did the first, the first, the second BDSM Pride Day there, and Carol, Carol was putting the steps up yes. to the stage just ten minutes before the show starts. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it has. I can't believe how fabulous it is. Yeah. No. It's well, done that, a lot of hard work. Yep. Thank, thank you, but it, it's a concerned, uh, uh, concentrated effort with. All five of the owners there, especially Jen and Cyan and me, were there all the time. And our effort has been improving and getting it up to a level which we're not where we want to be. We've got right. a lot of things we want to do, but we're we're about 90% of where we want to be with it. And we've got other improvements. We've had to watch our budget just a hair. Just a little bit. But, uh, that budget always gets in the way. Things are going good. We just got a new uh, subwoofer. For the sound system. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Which uh, I plugged it in and it woofed at me and it wasn't it woofed at her. Yeah, it's, I don't know what woofed. I did wrong, but we're also <laughs> looking at improving the uh, lighting system on the stage and the sound system as well. And uh, we've got improvements in mind over the over the years. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a it's an ongoing. I believe actually. Uh, our effort with the business itself is an ongoing thing. I don't think we'll ever be done with it mm -mm. Um, no. until we sell it to somebody for $8 million. And <laughs> anybody listening that offers out there? You know, we have a comment in the chat room. Oh, cool. We, like uh, we all agree on the fact that Jen's new haircut looks absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She was probably wondering when I was going to comment uh, on it. No, you know, I didn't even think about it. But thank you. Yeah, it was time for a change. He put it in a ponytail, cut it off, and I donated it to Lux of Love. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it feels great. I needed a short haircut for summer and very freeing. But thank you. Um, it looks I have... nice on the back here, too, except <laughs> for the, the car dye didn't go in. It's the big white streak here that didn't fill in. But if you, depends on how you layer it, it'll cover up. <laughs> The bulbs Nobody spot. will notice. Nobody will notice. Thank you for not noticing. Thanks. Yeah. And that's pointing it out. Yeah. <laughs> so Harry Balls, where do you see yourself in five years? What she say? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Me? Yes, you. Yes. Uh, you still gonna be counting condoms? No, I I I hope to be living on a fifty foot yacht in Long Beach Harbor. Yeah. And enjoying life and uh, going to uh, parasail and uh, a few other but and I, I hope to be physically healthy and walking which hasn't been the last four months yeah you're getting uh, your strength back though so I was ready to give it up um, 
Yeah, pain will do that to you. But well, you're doing better. The inability to stand up or walk is a big plus too. Yeah. Yeah, and, that sucks. Uh, when you can't. But I have a role model. Yeah, who's your yeah, role model? Yeah, a little short blind. Uh, well, a graying blind, I guess. I a graying <laughs> blonde? Who's that? A graying blonde. But she, she really, she saved my life. Virtually, you did, Revna. Oh. She let me use her light therapy. Uh, oh, that's right. Instrument, yeah. And I recently bought one online, and it's it's virtually make me able to walk with the healing that it's done. Yeah, that's I know very she's cool. had great success with it. And yeah. not, I, I, that's part of the blessed life that I run across. What are the odds of me crossing paths with Rev Mel when I come from 3,500 miles away? And in a 24-hour period, you know, I, I look at that in my life as somebody kind of looking out for me. And I have run across that in my life with a lot of very famous people. <laughs> It makes me makes me wonder. So is Ashley still just waiting for the other show? Does she have a question? <laughs> probably, uh, no, but um, probably signed off and went to sleep. Car Carol is making me cry. Aww. <laughs> um, Gio is commenting on your haircut. Also, he says it really matches your cleavage really well. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. People notice my cleavage. It doesn't even time. reach your cleavage. <laughs> no. Very cool. I was. I was in there at the opening show. And it, you were in my yeah, cleavage? You don't remember? No, no. I think I would have remembered that. I didn't remember know. Remember when we were going at it on the tabletop here? Oh, we were going at it. Are you sure you're not having a past life regression? I may have. I I've had them before. Yeah, I guess you've been around <laughs> for a long time. A really long time. So, uh, any other thoughts on things? Which, Where do you see the whole fetish BDSM lifestyle I, I, community going in the next. I think, in my opinion, I, I see it going to a good place with mm -hmm. the advent of the computer and things got mm -hmm. out of control and screwed up. I think that's taking a circle around and the responsibilities coming back with the advent mm -hmm. of this type of a uh, education facility. Well, I think people talk, especially like other venue owners talk, like whenever yeah. there's a, a toxic person well, or a toxic situation. Well, that, we all kind of that happens, but I think I see uh, more responsibility in mm -hmm. play. Yeah. Uh, with different venues, they're taking more responsibility on the play with their DMs and mm -hmm. people watching it and education. I see a lot right. more education focusing. In, I know at Sanctuary, we have a class almost every other night or every oh, other yeah. day, uh, of the safe way to do it. And that, with DomCon coming up, there's 61 hours classes there, yes. and I talked to a lot of people that go to DomCon for the first time, and it's like, wow, I, I now I understand what the fetish community is about. Yeah, and they're all catered for all levels, There's yeah. and, and, and for lifestyle and leather, and then there's introductory classes to different types of play, yeah. and then there's intermediate, so... Yeah, uh, the fetish we do is, it, this is a very dangerous, can be a very dangerous situation oh, yeah. if left unchecked, Absolutely. and I, I've seen the swing from the old guard dropping down and they use the change of generations and all of that. But I think it's headed to a good place, my do my, myself. Mm hmm My do. My do. Uh, yeah. So a lot of young people are entering in and they are very eager to learn what people like that young lady over there sticking giving us the finger. Oh, the I think moment. she's giving us a two minute warning. So, you know, gotta wrap it up. Anything you wanna say that's that means the end of the period? Pretty much. Did we win? Uh, <laughs> I don't think there was a game, but any last words or uh, comments or no, I'm just pretty well drained. I You're drained. <laughs> You're drained. I have I have pulled all the pleasurable things out of me and laid them on the table and yes. like sucked up in a camera. <laughs> and with this huge audience, I know Mr. Cyan is just uh, beaming and, and rolling on the floor in hysteric. Right. Any Mr. questions? Uh, oh, no, there. but we have an announcement. Oh, really? Uh, Mr. Cyan has said in the chat room, Mistress Melissa announcing retiring. to her class, this is her last, last one. She is one. retiring. Yes, yes. Wow. wow. I would have said that earlier, but I didn't know she wanted to make that quite public yet. Yeah. But yes. yes. Mr. Cyan just posted it, and we love Mistress Melissa. Yes, we, we love do. Her. I can have her on my show now. Yes, you can have her on her show. <gasps> yep. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. So, uh, 
we're going to wrap it up real quick. Any last words? You I would have? mention to Mrs. Melissa that you even know me if she comes on the show. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, is there For a your own self-protection. Oh, is there a vendetta or something? No, no, no. She sometimes gets like crazy when she hears my name. Oh, <laughs> crazy in what way? Well, you don't want to be around her. Uh, oh, okay. You could get injured. She's, she's pretty good with that uh, Tai Chi stuff. She does. <laughs> I didn't know she did Tai she Chi. She does, yeah. Wow. She teaches it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure and, and an honor, and I'm humbled and and uh, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching, everybody, and thank you for being my guest. I think. <laughs> she said Mistress Melissa had about 40 people in her class tonight. Oh, so this good, is good. Good. Yeah. We love she her. Does. Yes, we do. Harry, I will be having her. Harry, Harry, Harry we loved you. Harry Thank Carroll, you. love Harry you Carroll, too. Love you. Good good job. That was really informative, and we're going to wrap it up. Giving and, us the finger. Just yeah. giving us the finger. Thank you, everyone, for watching us, and I'll be here next week at 7.30 for Inside I Fetish. I'm not going to come again. <laughs> You're going to be in London. All, All right. right. Bye. Thank you. Woo and please stay tuned. At 9 o'clock is Naughty oh, and Nice right. with Miss Caddy. Bye-bye. Miss Cassie. Miss, did I, what did I say, Caddy? Caddy. Yeah. Oh, Ms. fuck. Miss Cassie. Oh, they know her. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, hell, we got Ashley waiting for her. I know. <laughs> <laughs>